Hi Gemini and welcome to your 2018 tarot forecast. This tarot reading will only focus on the positive aspects, elements, and experiences that are in store for you for 2018. That's not to say that there won't be challenges and things like that, but I want to really focus on the poly like the positive elements that you will experience in 2018 so that you go into 2018 with a positive expectation and outlook because your energy truly dictates the experiences that you have and I know that 2017 was really challenging for a lot of people so let's hope that 2018 is much better and from all the readings that I've done so far it looks like um, all the signs are having a transition of energy um, to some degree so I believe 2018 will be an easier year for everybody these here are to represent your energy this is your destiny for 2018 this is the tarot deck to tell the story of your journey in 2018 and that deck is for the blessings that are sure to come your way and then um, the romance angels to touch on your romantic energies for 2018. Now, if you are interested in the titles and authors of these decks, I have listed that information in the comment below, or the description, I should say. As always, this is a general reading, so the information here may or may not resonate to your personal life and situation, okay? So let's get right into your reading, Gemini, and see who you are in 2018. What is your energy? Wow, you guys are coming through as the creator. Lots of changes taking place for Gemini in 2018, um, in general, in all aspects of life, okay? But for many of you, your creative bones within are going to be stronger than ever in 2018, whether you write or draw or paint or act or sing, you know, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't even just have to be like talents such as that. It could be in your home, like you're going to redecorate, do a lot of changes um, in the interior of your home. Maybe you're going to buy all new furniture for your house or just for one room. Um, this could also go into you and yourself. Maybe in 2018, all this creativity, all this creative energy is being funneled into yourself and you're changing your entire image. So for Gemini, big changes that are being sparked and inspired from, you know, the creative energies that exist within your soul. It's like you really want a change of scenery all the way around in 2018. So that's nice energy, Gemini. Let's go ahead and pull a rune um, to add to that, to get more information about that card there. Okay, um, I'm trying to think of who else got this. Another sign got this, but I can't um, quite remember. This is all about ambition, okay? And also, like, a breakthrough in your consciousness and your creativity you know I think it's Pisces that had this um, yeah it's like your consciousness is expanding there's a breakthrough if you've been blocked creatively in 2017 that all changes in 2018 okay and you are definitely have the ambition and the motivation and the energy to accomplish and manifest whatever these changes or creative ideas are this you know could also be in the workplace perhaps you know in 2018 you just come up with all 
you know, new ways of streamlining things or making um, processes faster and more efficient, things like that. So that looks really good um, to start your reading off. So let me put these to the side. We'll go ahead and see what your destiny is for 2018. What's the journey you're walking? What is your path with all of this creativity and changes and breakthroughs? So it's like you're going to achieve something big, you know, big to you. It's going to matter to you. Okay, I feel like these are yours. Abundance. That's nice. Um... This could speak directly to this abundant creativity that you're experiencing. If you notice, um, the imagery and color of the cards is very similar, but these are two completely different authors and artists, okay? So again, an abundance of creative energy, motivation, um, energy within. Also, this could speak to your finances. So if you've been struggling financially, 2018 looks like the energy is shifting some and you're going to have a much more prosperous and comfortable life in 2018. Emotions. Hmm. Um, this could indicate a lot of different things. We're going to have to pull the tarot cards to really touch on that because since we're looking at the positive aspects, this could mean that we're clearing out some old emotions that were really bringing us down. Or this could mean that, you know, there's uh, somebody new that sparks our emotions. But then again, we have this deep creative theme going on and it can talk to, you know, it's coming from your emotions. Maybe what you've been through, all of the challenges, like you've finally decided to change that energy and funnel it into some sort of creative endeavor which you know ultimately is bringing you abundance and prosperity of some kind and then we have union oh my goodness uh yeah gemini well you know this card is just so gorgeous um i'm gonna let you like look at it for a minute um with the union here This um, could speak, again, to your creativity, but I feel like there's a very special love romance that is a part of your journey in 2018. This could be somebody you're already with. This could be somebody you meet. Perhaps you're going to reconcile with somebody. We'll have to pull the cards to see, but you're really going to be in touch with your emotions in 2018. Um, Perhaps as a Gemini, um, you know, you are ruled more by your logic and your thinking, but the energies of 2018 has you existing more from your heart space. And because of that, I feel like that's where all this creative energy is coming from because your emotions are so rich in inspiration and creativity and just fueling things and when they're fueled negatively you know you could get depressed you could feel really bad it could cause stalking behavior obsessive behavior things like that but when you know those emotions are funneled in a very positive way it's the most magical things happen the best creations you know come to life so I feel like Gemini is existing more in their emotions in 2018 than in their logic. And because of that, all of these ideas and epiphanies and creation is coming forth. And it's like from your soul. And um, what may cause all of this is some love here, some very precious, special union. So let's pull some tarot cards look at look at what's at the bottom of this deck ace of cups right there oh my gosh gemini yeah uh 
some of you, there is a love of a lifetime happening in 2018. And, you know, if you're already in a relationship, this could indicate that that relationship goes to a whole new level that you just never thought was possible. I mean, we do have unions, so that definitely could be taking things to the next level in a romantic partnership, okay, that already exists right now. But love, love, emotions, and creativity are on the agenda for Gemini with a breakthrough. So it's all good stuff. Uh, having a hard time. These cards are like bigger than normal tarot cards. So it can get very hard to shuffle them. Especially like leaning over the camera trying to do it that way so I want them to be nice and mixed up for you all right nice we have the ending of sadness and sorrow okay Gemini definitely experienced a loss of some kind in 2017. This could be romantic. This could have been a job, um, a friendship, you know, some goal that you were trying to achieve. On some level, there was sadness within Gemini in 2017, and 2018 remedies that, okay? So whatever this represents for you personally, this energy is dissipating in 2018 for you. Nice. And then we have the Four of Wands. We have stability returned. Oh, look at this. Right under the Union card, the Two of Cups. Yes. There is a very special romantic relationship that is prominent for Gemini in 2018 and the only other sign so far that's actually had strong romantic energy coming through was Aries so I don't know if you're connected with an Aries or you have Aries in your chart but that's the only other sign so far and you're my seventh reading um, that has had strong love energy so yeah and because we have sadness if you're already in a partnership and you guys were just really struggling in 2017 uh, based on these first three cards and this here it's 2018 brings stability it restores stability um whatever was you know harming the relationship or making you sad or the struggle it's like that's the past and you know I want this was really catching my eye but I wasn't quite sure why the two of cups that still remain so you know there was a loss of some kind and it, that two of cups remained and here it is now in full force in the forefront because you see it's kind of in the back a little bit transparent and we're sad because something has been lost but now here's these two cups manifested and it's returned here it is so it's beautiful like there's just I don't know whatever you lost in 2017 either it's returning in 2018 and it's going to be stronger than ever or you really just let all that go and you meet somebody else and it's just wow game on you know Hmm. And here I was talking about Aries, and here we have this Queen of Wands, which definitely could represent a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this love connection, uh, very strong with a fire sign or somebody who has a lot of fire energy in their chart, or because this is the Wands, this could be a very physically attractive Person, okay, so your partnership, your union here could be with a very physically attractive person, somebody that you feel a lot of passion, chemistry, and desire for. Also, because of this creativity that is so abundant um, that I spoke about, 
this is another reiteration of that energy inside of you. Like you're just going to be on point, unstoppable in 2018, your energy. Wow. And then we have the Ace of Coins. So that could be money right there, but it's like a new beginning, a second chance. And then we have the Page of Wands, more fire energy, more creativity. Hmm. And then we have the King of Cups. Wow. And the world. And then the King of Swords. Holy crap, Gemini. Okay, because this is, you know, um, your reading and you're an air sign, I'm going to say that this is your energy, this King of Swords for most of you. But um, for others of you, there's some key players in your life throughout 2018, okay? Um, with the Ace of Coins here at the center of your reading, some of you very well could be starting a new job or complete new career all together because of this card, this energy you're coming out as. And we have the world. So it could be as though one area of your career is closing, like that door is closing, and a whole new genre of profession is opening up for you. Or... Um, you're really going to the next level in whatever it is the career that you're in now like definitely looks like improvement in the career in the finances for Gemini like that's at the center of this reading but um, also with the world and the four of wands Gemini could be relocating in 2018 it could just be a simple change of residence like you know we have this union so you could be moving in with a romantic partner or this could even talk about how you're moving state or country in 2018 it could be for a job okay um but there is love is like the biggest deal here whatever your creativity is and your love like that's the biggest things coming through for Gemini and um, this union very well could be with somebody you've been with before okay this is general so it'll be different for all of you and with breakthrough here maybe you know this is just a relationship you didn't think was viable but for Gemini there is definitely a sacred partnership um, love union taking place in 2018 and we could be moving in together or changing residence moving to another state that's also quite strong but the sadness whatever it is you lost in 2017 like that is going away so this five of cups with this emotions is letting you know that whatever was really dragging you down within you know if you were feeling depressed or you were really missing somebody or you just felt sad in general like that energy is changing in 2018 and because you were so in touch with that sadness like it allowed you to explore your emotions in a way that you typically wouldn't okay and through that exploration, it changed you. And it's allowing this beautiful union, this partnership that's coming through so strongly. Okay, but you coming through as like your own energy, ending the reading. Um, again, I just feel like you are on point. You're on your game in 2018. And, you know, there's this new passion, this all this creative energy, whatever your creative talent is Gemini I feel like the universe is backing you guys to make it real to manifest it into reality in 2018 and for some of you this is like you're going to be making money this becomes your job but it's a creative talent of some kind um, also because we have the four of wands there with this energy a lot of you are doing home improvements okay um, so let's pull some romance angel cards to get more information about this romantic connection because 
that is definitely the strongest thing coming through for you guys and like money is going to be good too your emotions are back in balance money improves and there's this beautiful love connection taking place um again aries had a kind of a similar reading to this but you also have this king of cups in your reading so gemini you could be involved with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So fire and water sign, very strong energies um, for you guys in 2018. And you know, this creative, like this creative energy could just kind of come out of nowhere. And that's why we have the breakthrough rune. Like it's just you have a dream or something and you, you are able to write an entire novel from that or you know you just it could just show up in a flash just like that um for others of you this is something you've been working at and finally in 2018 it just happens okay because we have breakthrough ace of coins abundance so it's looking good like you guys honestly don't have a negative card other than the five of cups but as i said this is looking at the positive energies of 2018 so this is an energy that you overcome otherwise everything else is very beautiful and positive which i'm glad to see because who 2017 has been a doozy for some yeah, engagement, uh, things going to the next level in a partnership, like I said. Healing family issues, this could talk about a reconciliation. And free yourself. Yeah, you, whatever emotional baggage was holding you down in 2017, all of that changes in 2018. Um, it could be romantically only, but also for some of you, um, this sadness, this disconnection, this loss could have had something to do with friends or family, something along those lines. And that energy is healed as well. So with Free Yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. Um, I feel that that is like just old emotional baggage of your past that you finally let go of you just have this breakthrough where you're like i'm done with the past i'm done feeling sad you know what's lost is lost i'm ready to move on and move forward and for some of you maybe 2017 was just a very lonely year and you didn't really have any dating options but by the looks of these cards in 2018 there is somebody that shows up and it looks like a beautiful union and again if you're already partnered up in 2017 was you know pretty rough 2018 looks like it's much smoother for you guys and with engagement there and these other cards you very well could be moving in together um, you could literally be getting engaged or even married this year okay um, because we have the page of wands sitting next to that ace of coins and the queen of wands for some of you and this is a strong message in a lot of other readings you could be becoming a parent you could be having a child and you know this is general so that's a common message but it's predominant in this reading like it matters maybe you know if you are female and you get pregnant or you're a male and, and you get your partner pregnant maybe that is what bridges the gap between any family issues that need healing or um, if you and your partner were you know having trouble in 2017 maybe this is just like the thing that changes everything and brings you guys back to life and the relationship goes to a whole new level okay it's just beautiful for you guys all of it no matter what and you guys are going to be in love you have this beautiful love connection happening so let's look at the blessings that are sure to come to gemini in 2018 
All right. We have card number 27, which is a fox, I and some ducks, okay? But these are your blessings, so. Hmm. And then we have the broom. Mm, and look at this. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Again, money. Money, Gemini, career. Like, yeah, abundance is so strong in your reading. Um, like, great abundance, money coming your way, new uh, job, new opportunity, your creative uh, talent taking off, something like that. That's strong and this beautiful love connection. Two strongest energies for you for 2018. Now, these two energies are hand in hand. And since these are blessings, what this is saying is anything that tries to harm you or take from you, you have all the resources and ability to get it out of your life, to get that person, that situation, or that energy out of your life. Because for some of you, this is like an actual person who is causing you trouble in 2017 or maybe taking from you, stealing from you, or you know, if it was a romantic relationship where they weren't honest, they weren't true. Well, in 2018, because of the experiences you've been through, you've grown and you're wiser and you spot this energy in a, in a second. And it doesn't matter, you know, if this is somebody you love taking advantage of you. In 2018, you are strong enough and you possess everything you need to sweep it out of your life. And if this is just representing negative emotions or depression, you, you're you not plagued with that anymore in 2018. It's like you've overcome some challenge within. And with the broom here, you have everything you need to rid yourself of negative energy or negative people or circumstances in your life. Now, with the pinnacle reiterated as a blessing, yes, Gemini, money is definitely coming your way in 2018. This could represent a, a nice raise or an unexpected bonus, maybe an unexpected win of some kind, an inheritance, a really great new job opportunity, and most importantly, your creative talent generating you income, or um, you come up with a lot of ideas and ways to start generating more income for yourself. So you had abundance as your destiny for 2018. So Gemini, finances, seriously improving for you guys and um beautiful beautiful love connection taking place so i'm going to pull one final card an ace to look at the most abundant energy you will experience in 2018 which um <laughs> let's see <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised to see this. This is would be the Ace of Water, the Ace of Cups, love. Um, <laughs> like I said, Gemini's strongest energy is this love connection, and it even shows through in emotions. Okay, so we have emotions, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, and Union. Super strong romance. And then for finance, we have abundance, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So Gemini, um, you're going to be in love and you're going to have money and you're going to be stable and you're going to be happy. I wish that I could really like delve more into this, but that's what's coming through. And it's just like, no, you're in love and it's a beautiful union and connection and you're not hurting for money, at least not the Gemini's I'm reading for. So beautiful reading Gemini like I would say when it comes to love and romance best reading by far for 2018 so expect beautiful connection to come into your life or the connection that you already have to you know deepen and strengthen much stronger and again finances don't hold back your ideas like it's just gonna make you money it, it will prosper you okay so Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your story for 2018. I am truly wishing you all the best. Take care.